What is going on everybody? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the glowing eyes effects in Final Cut Pro 10 without having to download any other plugins. Everything is done in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see, I'm just using J. Cole's album of the year freestyle from uh, World Star Hip Hop. A uh, link to that video is going to be in the description. And anyway, so this is what I did to this uh, two second clip here it took me about 35 minutes uh, to do this whole thing Yeah, it took 35 minutes to do a two second uh, Effect and I know that sounds really uh, time-consuming because it really is but in the end it's gonna look really cool guys So I'm gonna mute the audio so you guys can so this is the raw video here as you can see and I you know it still looks really cool without any effects of course but I want to show you guys how to do it with this video just because I think it would look kind of cool. So first thing you want to do is you want to go into the titles and generators uh, tab here. So if you click on this button here, this will bring up the side, the left sidebar. And in the generators tab, you want to go down to where it says custom. So click and drag that beneath this video here. And I'm going to delete this so you guys don't get confused. Okay. So now you have the generators tab and you're done with that. So from here, you want to trim this down. I think it's like 10 seconds long. I'm not sure why, but just trim that all the way to your desired uh, time. Okay. And in this case, it's going to be two seconds. So two, two seconds and 14 milliseconds to be exact. So from here, what you want to do is first go ahead and select your color. So I'm going to click on the custom generator. Click on this little button here with, where it says, I think it says like two. And click this box and bring this right bar all the way to the left and here you can choose your colors and I'm going to do like a scion blue uh, just because I think it would look kind of cool so I'm gonna do something like uh, I'm gonna move it up a little bit something like that uh, you can do red you can do whatever color you guys want so from here I'm gonna move this time head uh, or the playhead at the very beginning of the video and I'm gonna go to the effects browser and I'm going to go into masks. So we are going to be working with masks. And if you guys have never used masks before in Final Cut Pro 10, then I would suggest you guys watch my tutorial on that that I did uh, a couple months ago. And I will link that in the description of this video. So go ahead and watch that first so you guys can get an understanding on how to use masks and stuff. As well as keyframing because there's going to be a lot of keyframing in this tutorial. But I'm just going to show you the basics on how to do this effect. So go to the masks. Go to draw mask and drag that there and drag another one. Uh, so you're going to drag two draw masks on the top clip here. So then click on that top clip and go onto the inspector window and you should have two. As you can see here, we have one and two. So click on the first one here and make sure that the time head is at the beginning and you will have to be uh, kind of zoomed in quite a bit to be able to do this. So I'm going to go to about 400% here and I'm going to move this all the way up uh, or you can do like 200% as well. 200% uh, is perfect for me. So from here, what you want to do is you want to pretty much mask out his eye, but we're actually selecting it. So that way we can see through and we can have this color here. So we're going to click here. You want to make about four points. So click there, maybe around here. I would suggest you guys start curving this Just curve kind of like this kind of down and one in the middle here, click and drag. And then uh, no need for curves. All you got to do is just click. All right. So now you're going to have this here and everything's going to be blue. But we want to invert that. So go into this draw mask here where it says invert mask. Click this check mark or this box here. So now you have this here and now you can uh, pretty much add what is keyframing. So we're going to do the same thing to the other draw mask. So select that and start here um, around here. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to drag here and one over here and the last one right there and i'm gonna go like that i'm gonna invert the mask and so now you have this one here as well so sweet so what you're gonna do from here there's about 30 frames per second in this clip so for every one second there's 30 frames so you can times 30 by two so that's gonna be about 60 about 70 frames i would say about yeah 60 to 70 frames so there's going to be um, a lot of keyframing in this tutorial. So I'm just letting you guys know that. All right. So from here, what you want to do is on the first draw mask, I would select uh, both. So click this one and click shift uh, or sorry, press command and click. So it selects both of the draw masks. 
Then you want to go to the control points and click this little plus icon. So click that one and click this one here as well. Make sure you're at the beginning of the video clip, by the way. So now both of the draw masks have a keyframe. So from here, all you have to do is literally uh, start moving them. So go one frame to the right by pressing the right arrow key on your keyboard and start clicking each one and move them individually. Okay, so you're going to do something like this. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. But if you want to, you can do, uh, you can be as precise as you want. Um, but like I said, you want about two seconds uh, for this effect just because it's going to take a lot of time, of course, doing it manually. I don't know any other easier way of doing this in Final Cut Pro 10. But if you guys do, please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know <laughs> another way of doing this, especially if there's a easier way of doing it. But uh, you want to go ahead and just click and drag each one of these and... Yeah, so just do that for each of this one here. So for each little uh, point here, if I can select this one, uh, just keep doing that. And I'm going to modify this one because it looks kind of weird. And I'm going to move this back and this one down. So something like this, uh, just to get the idea of the eye shape. Uh, so just go ahead and move each point here to match his eye. Okay. And something like this. So you want to keep doing that for about, I don't know, a good 30 minutes and you should have this done. Of course, I'm not going to show you each of the uh, keyframes because that's going to take a very long time. You guys are done. It should look something like this. And of course, I am not going to show you um, all the keyframes, but there should be like individual uh, points around the eyes and, um, and you're pretty much good to go. You're pretty much done with the effect, of course. And now once you, you know, group all the clips together and you add your music, this is what it would look like when you're finished. So you can do a lot more stuff with this. You can have him shoot out lasers. And if you guys want a tutorial on uh, glowing uh, eye lasers and stuff like that, leave a like guys, that would be dope. Comment down below as well if you guys have any, have any other video ideas. So um, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, Leave a like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on a video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.